the rules of the game and lay down. We all have to play by them. Look at you, Sam. Whatever happened to you? An empty desk is an efficient desk. Let a friend tell you your life is going wrong. Now shape up! Do cooperate. Think of your mother. Has anybody seen Sam Lowry? Mr. President, status control on Jupiter 2. As of this moment, the spacecraft has passed the limits of our galaxy. It's presumed to be hopelessly lost in space. Today I'm going to have to be saying some things that are a little difficult to say. And as a matter of fact, I'll probably have to be saying them in ways that I'm not saying them too straight. I'm going to have to be speaking between the lines. So bear with me if I seem a little bit cryptic. Prague Kamal Kashinath Tandal, if I'm pronouncing that right, made this public post in which he says, we are all watching you, Mr. Lalit Kala Academy. Try to understand we are now in the 21st century, not in the 19th century. What is the role of Lali Kala Academy in India? Please go back and read and research why it was established. Jury who selected these works for awards, most of them don't know what is the contemporary art. They don't have any contributions in contemporary art world. Jury who selected these works for awards, most of them don't know what is contemporary art. They don't have any contributions in contemporary art world. The two-level jury was formed for the selection of these awards, in which the first-level five-member jury in the division, and then he goes on to name a lot of names that I've never heard of, and I'm sure a lot of other people have never heard of. In the second decisive division formed for the selection of awards, and once again, a lot of people that I've never heard of, and I'm sure many of you never heard of. I don't want to name the names. Parag goes on, why don't they call contemporary artists? And I believe by that he means why don't they call contemporary artists to come and serve as jurors, well-known contemporary artists, people who actually work in contemporary art, actually have done things and succeeded in the contemporary art market to come in and be the jurors, rather than calling in obscure people as Lali Kala so often does to be jurors. That is a huge problem with Lali Kala. I believe that's what he means. He goes on then, and this part I don't really agree with. This is my open call to young artists. Shall we boycott institutions like Lali Kala Academy? Bombay Art Society, the Art Society of India. Well, I think you're mixing apples and oranges there. Lalit Kala Academy is a government-run institution that is promoted by and funded by your tax dollars, your Indian tax dollars, and you have every right to complain about how that is run and demand change. Um, the Bombay Art Society, I think, has been around for like 127 years, if I remember right. It's a private, it's more of a non-profit they can run their show the way they want. And I think Bombay Art Society serves its own purpose in some way. But Prague does go on to say, we really need transformation, which we do. It is we who should take call. Funds which are used by Lali Kala Academy are a public fund. True, 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 Prague, exactly. It is our sole right to speak about this ongoing issue. True. Now, 
I think Parag did do one thing wrong that wasn't so good, and that was Parag posted pictures of art that was in this exhibition that he personally did not like. Parag, I know how you feel about that for sure. Those artists whose works were on the wall were not responsible for the jury selection. So I have to say that as well. So yes, I can tell a story, which I probably should not. And that's when I served on a jury for the Lalit Kala Academy for the International Print Biennale that was held in 2018. Let's just say that after the jury and process was finished, and let's just say that when I went back the following week to talk on the stage and congratulate the winners, I had a very funny feeling in my stomach. I was not feeling confident that the selections that we, the jury, had made were correct. Now, I know I did my best to do what was right. And I can say that with certitude. Now, we all have our favorites. And when you're called upon as a juror, sometimes when you recognize one of your favorites or whatever, it's hard not to be a little biased. I understand that. But it's something a juror ought to fight, okay? Now, during the International Print Biennale, there was one woodcut that really, really struck me as being an award winner. To me, it was one of the best in the show. And as far as I know, it did not win any award, not even an honorable mention. When we judged the works, we had no idea who the artists were. We were given a list only with numbers that corresponded to the works on the wall. So theoretically, we didn't know who the artists were. Of course, sometimes you can tell. In this work, I really didn't know who did it, but I thought it was a marvelous work. Later, it was revealed that it was somebody I had bought one of his prints during my printmaking days. It was Venugopal VG. And it was a wonderful work a wonderful work of a ship coming in, its bow crashing through the ocean, a soul figure on the front of the boat. And it certainly spoke of the whole migrant crisis that was still very much in the news. Venu Gopal, I'll have to say, is not like one of my pet artists or anything like that. I appreciate his art. I like his art. He's not somebody I've like really supported over the years, whatever. So I'm not saying this because I'm a patron of Venu Gopal VG. I'm saying this simply because I thought it was a magnificent work. Why it did not get any sort of an award, no honorable mention, nothing, is totally beyond me. And I'm using this as an example. There were many such works in this show. There was a work by somebody who I do know, Jagadish Tamanyani, um, and of course I've been a big supporter of his. Many people know that. I've been a Jagadish supporter. Um, his work, as I rated it, I rated it fairly highly. I actually didn't give it a top mark. Um, I didn't think it was necessarily his best work. I've seen better work from Jagadish. Jagadish, if you're listening, I'm sorry, but I have. You're very talented. I didn't think it was one of your better, better efforts. But it deserved a high score, and it did win an honorable mention. And I was very happy for that. I would like to say that the other two jurors that I served with, one was a very well-known artist, very well-known artist, known for printmaking. Someone who people often talk about. The other person was somebody that I had never heard of. A person that when you Googled his name, you came up with next to nothing. I had not a clue as to how this person got on the jury. 
I did not have a clue. And he himself did not seem to have any real knowledge of printmaking. There was an overall feeling when I was done. There was a feeling that I was used. I felt that my good name as a foreigner who had made a large collection of Indian printmaking was simply called in to basically give a rubber stamp to a process that was very, very faulty. What happens in bureaucracies, and it seems inevitable, people get entrenched. And once people are entrenched, they feel powerful. And they also make friends, and that's normal. People make friends. But when you're an entrenched bureaucrat and you make friends and connections, you tend to play upon those friends and connections perhaps again and again. And you don't seek to go beyond that. You also feel very comfortable in your job as a bureaucrat. This episode started with a little segment from that wonderful old movie, Brazil, which really played a lot on the whole concept of bureaucracy. Um, bureaucracy is a major flaw of government institutions. And in my mind, that's why you need private institutions to compete with and keep in check governmental institutions. And you need governmental institutions to keep in check private institutions. It works both ways. But it seems that government institutions, more so than any others, are the ones that become a word that starts with C, if you know what I mean. The rules of the game are laid down. We all have to play by them. Look at you, Sam. Whatever happened to you? An empty desk is an efficient desk. Let a friend tell you your life is going wrong. Now shape up. Do cooperate. Think of your mother.